Welcome back, guys. We are going to set up a train station. Uh, cargo station, 240 meters. Uh, right here. So we kind of need to delete some tracks. Yeah, I know. Rail. Oh, actually, we'll we'll go up to the 320 meters now, and we'll put the station in. Oh, this is going to be rough, isn't it? This is going to be very rough. Oh, how the heck do we get this station in here? Ooh, like this, maybe. Yeah, like this. Okay. And we'll make a little configuration. Have some tracks. We're gonna need more. Gonna need more space. Ooh. The question is. Will we be able to get everything in here? That's a good question. Uh, because we want tracks. Then we want tracks again. And then I want passengers. So yeah, we will be able to get it all in. Good. We don't need the passenger thing right now, but... We will. We'll pull these tracks back a bit. Uh, these are maybe pulled back enough. So you come in there. And that actually looks okay. And that looks okay. And then we need this to come out here. And that actually looks pretty okay as well. Good. And we are going to do a little landscaping and so on, but I just can't afford it right now. Just can't afford it right now. Oh, there. That was right. There. That's right. Okay. And then the same on this side. Like that. Like that. And in we go. Good, good, good. Uh, let's get some signals. Uh, put a signal in here as well. Uh, there and there. And a signal down here. Now, I think I'll put a signal in here as well. And that looks fine. In here, we can put a couple of signals, I think. Okay. Then we need to build a bit of road to connect up to here. And we'll use this road. Like that to start. And then it can simply connect in there. And I think that'll be fine. Then we need a cargo station. Uh, which we can put in actually at the end here, which I think makes a lot of sense. Like that. 
and a drop off thing up here like that okay and then we need yeah, we, we don't have any way of getting vehicles down here right now so we'll get a road depot going uh, let's just put it in here i guess like that um new line from there to there and this will be cargo truck delivery bricks uh sun okay uh let's buy some vehicles and put on that We'll buy four of the side state trucks, uh, cargo, truck delivery, bricks, sun. Okay, then this, no, what are you doing over there? Okay, fine. Uh, Manage line after Sacramento. You go down here. And then you go back uh, to San Antonio South. What's wrong here? Oh, I know what's wrong. I know what's wrong. Uh, we did not double slip this. And that has fixed it already. Nice. So that gets a little bit more utilization out of our ships. Which is a very, very good thing. It's not a lot, but it's something. And we do need it to be something, because we are not making money right now. As in really, really not making money right now. And I am not happy about it. I'm really not... So now, Sunnyvale is coming in as a consumer as well, which is good. Robo chemical plant, okay. Uh, you don't want bricks to now. All right, so basically we're waiting to make money. So I'm going to let the game run for a little bit and see if we don't start making some money because this is it's a little bit boring just sitting here waiting for that. So I'll let the game run and I'll be back. Well, okay, so things are looking much better. We have 11 million in the bank. We have a loan of 13 and a half million. We are making very nice money. And this is all due to the ship lines suddenly making money most of the time. And that's because we are now shipping 200 of the bricks that are being produced here because everyone's demand has gone up. So 72 of 114 here, down here 28 of 52. And it's only going to go up. So one thing we need to do, first of all, is we need to extend Sacramento Station here. Um, because look at all the bricks we have sitting here. 673 bricks going towards Sacramento. So I want to extend this, this station. Yeah. Uh, we want cargo platforms. 
so it was 120, right? Uh, can we get one in here? No. Not without demolishing, so we'll demolish a bit. Yeah, we know, we know. It screws everything up. Let's pull that back like that. Uh, no, do not demolish that. Let's pull this back. Uh, let's just keep it there for now. So, what's your capacity? Uh, we need uh, we need the tracks first. Okay. Uh, let's put platform down there so how many is that now one two three four five six and how many do we have for 320 meters one two three four five six seven eight so we need two more two more okay we can do two more. Uh, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There. That's what we need. Again, I don't think... Do we have something in the way there? Yeah, we do. Do we have something in the way up here? No, we don't. Okay. I don't think we need to extend the passenger platforms, at least not yet. So we'll just do that. And let's get some tracks in here. This is going to have to be pulled back some more. Like that, probably. That looks great. And then... That seems fine. And that seems fine. That's going to have to be pulled back some more. Let's just... Pull it back to there. Good to me. That looks good to me. And nah. Back a little bit more. Yeah. Uh something is wrong here. Why won't you do that? Right there. This looks more right. Yeah, there we go. There we go. And we, of course, still have warnings as of double slip switches. So we will fix those like that, and then we'll get a few signals in uh, signal there signal there signal there a signal there uh, a signal up here let's put one in here as well uh, a signal down here and then a signal down here okay so that's that station fixed everything is fine let's let the game run now the next project is to get uh, these going down here uh, or go, uh, the bricks going back here 
and going up to Fargo and Scottsdale. So, yeah, that's a project. That's a project, and you know what we could do? So we can get bricks going up here. Then we could pick up lumber over here and take that back down to this lumber mill. And then... What, what do we do with it from there, though? That's the question. Or we could take, take it back down and set up another shipping line to take it up there. And then what? Then what do we do with it? So Sacramento, Sunnyvale, San Antonio wants tools. So is there a nice tool factory? There is actually right there. Okay. And then we could drop off those tools here so that they can be distributed and come back and pick up more lumber. I like that idea. So I think I want to make a transport hub here as well so that we have one kind of in the middle, one in the south down here somewhere and one in the north, which is our San Antonio one. This one. So let's do that. And I think this is probably a good spot for it. This is going to be a pricey uh, project. And we don't have a lot of money. But if we did something like that... And then... We did... Cargo station, 320 meters, catenaries, yes, put those in there. We can do catenaries now. Uh, no, we need, first we need a nice big road. Going right here. And then we can do our cargo station. Right there. And so configure that tracks. Uh, platforms. Oops. We can expand this later, but this is fine for now. So there. And... Then we need to come up to Fargo and Scottsdale. And then we need a line over to there. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so. Um, let's put in some train stations. I think. 
But we'll put Fargo in here, but do I want to start it out as a passenger station? I think I kind of do. I think I kind of do. Um, so I had a question about this uh, clear ownership. Uh, so basically what it means is that if you own it, the game will not change the road that you have built ever. It'll not change it. It'll not upgrade it. It'll not upgrade it. Any of that stuff. Uh, which I suppose can be useful sometimes. Uh, but how often? I'm not really sure. Now, the other uh, thing it means is that if you own a road, you are paying maintenance for it. So... I'm not entirely sure what the keep means. I think it's for when you upgrade. If you if you upgrade, then whoever owns it keeps. That's my understanding of it. And by default, so I don't really need to click no here, I think, because by default, uh, the player does not own the road. That's my understanding. Uh, we want a passenger line here. And we want it to be something like this, I think. And then up here, it's actually a cargo station that I want. And I want it kind of over here. Um, yeah, something like there. Okay. Yeah. Or do I want it something like that? I think I want it something like this there okay uh, we need to configure this a bit as we need tracks I think we'll do something like this and then a cargo platform like that and I think that'll be fine okay uh, let's let the game run on medium speed and let's get some tracks in here. So you need to come over like that and in. Okay. So a little bit more. Sacramento farm. Going away. Whoa. I don't mind that little bridge, actually. Looks a little bit weird, doesn't it? Uh, that one I don't mind. Then we'll... Uh, which one am I building now on the right side? Okay. Here, I think we're gonna get a tunnel. No? Okay. Alright, fine. No tunnels. If you say so. Ooh, that's ugly. Let's just delete that a bit. Uh, I 
really don't like that it's that elevated. Can we get this to come down a bit faster? And then come in here. That's much better. That's much better. And come into there. So we've already almost spent our money. Well, borrow. Okay. Okay, come out like that. Suppose. And we'll need to turn a bit here to get into this station. Which we haven't configured yet, but I don't care. Or do I? Uh, I certainly want... Uh, I certainly want the pass-through tracks. So like that. Bring you out there, and then let's bring you in that pass by track. And that looks darn good. And then you go in there. Okay. Then we just need a. Connection there. A double slip switch there. And for right now, we really just need a connection there. We'll fix that up later. And then we need a connection there. Uh, did I do this one right? Yes, I did. Double slip, yes. Uh, double slip, yes. Okay. So now, once we make a train station down here, well, actually, no, we're going to tell these ships to stop in there and drop off. And then we can get things going to Fargo and Boxdale. So, uh, manage line, so Santa Ana, San Antonio, and Tallahassee, and in Tallahassee, you load nothing, and you unload bricks. And we need a new line going from here to here, to here, and this will be a uh, cargo rail delivery um, bricks uh, for Scott or SEO. Okay, and then we probably most likely need eh, I don't reach at all so we do need a, a cargo station in here let's just make it one overdo it and hmm you know what? I think we'll put you in here. Oh, that looks too weird. Let's put you in here. And then a drop off, I guess, over here. 
I know it basically covers it already, but it is what it is. And you can come in here like that, and that'll be fine. And a drop off. Let's put the drop off up here. Okay. That seems pretty good. Uh, we need a depot, don't we? We need a depot. Uh, let's put you in here. Okay. And tracks. Like that. And signals. Signals are very important. Especially if you get them right. If you don't get them right, then they're very unimportant. And disruptive. And I tend to get them not right. For whatever reason. Uh, there. Do I need to double slip something? I think I do. And, oh, down here I need a brassy thingy. So... You can come over there for now, and you can come over there for now, and that will remove our warning. Good. Okay. So, did we make the new lines? Only the rail, not these guys. So, new line from there to there. Uh, cargo, truck, delivery, uh, bricks, cargo. And up here, we need a new line from there to there. And this is cargo, uh, truck, delivery, bricks, uh, Scottsdale. Okay, so I'm going to need a depot in here somewhere. Uh, do they connect by road? Yes, they do. Good. So we can put this depot in here. Standing. Five vehicles. Uh, I suppose we'll do the side stakes. And we'll do two... Or cargo, truck delivery, bricks, Fargo. And why did I pause again? I don't know. Uh, buy vehicles. Uh, two more. Or uh, Scottsdale. And I suppose those lines. Uh, Fargo branch. Uh, We'll load, wait forever. And up here, uh, Upper Scottsdale, uh, full load, wait forever. Okay. And uh, then we need the train. We need the train. Uh, buy vehicles. We'll do the Atlantic. The Mikado is actually slower. Oh, look at the incidence cost. Atlantic, cargo, flat car with side stakes. Uh, 120 capacity is going to be fine for now. Cargo, rail, delivery, bricks, are SEO. 
Okay. And you sit down in Tallahassee and wait for a uh, full load. Wait forever. For now. Okay. So this is good. This will get even more of these bricks being used. Hopefully Scottsdale and Fargo will come on the list at some point. Uh, but they won't because uh, we need to manage this line. And in San Antonio port, you can now load bricks as well. And in Tallahassee port, you unload bricks. And you can unload logs when we get that going. And in Santa Ana port, you load that and unload nothing. That's perfect. That is perfect. Okay. So. Let's repay some loans. So. We would have made a, a, a small profit if we hadn't spent all that money. Yeah. All right. Loans are down to 18 million. And that means that we have 12 million to work with. So getting this going over here and setting up this harbor is actually not that expensive and this harbor of course it shouldn't be that expensive just getting just to get a little bit going so that our plans don't go up in smoke when one of the industries that we want to use uh, <laughs> decides to close. And what we can do... So we'll be bringing logs over from here, right? By train down to the port, taking it up here to be turned into planks. Then we sail the planks up here to be turned into tools. Then we take the tools back down to San Antonio port then we could in reality pick up logs here and sail them back down here so that we have two factories or two sawmills no two forests delivering to this uh, sawmill which it needs i think that would be very nice And that would make for a very, very profitable uh, line. A very profitable line. Basically, it would only be going empty this bit. Well, from here to here. Then it would go full. And then it would go empty this bit. And that's it. That is not a bad line. Everything else would be full. And the train line would go empty this bit, but full the rest. So that's another very profitable line. I like the way this sounds. I really like the way this sounds. Um. Did you update? Oh, look at that. We have Scottsdale and Fargo as consumers. So now it's at 256 of 300. Fan freaking fantastic. This is awesome. This is awesome. Oh, I'm excited, guys. I am excited. We are going very, very profitable times ahead. Very, very profitable times ahead. This is going to be amazing. 
This is going to be amazing. Uh, you are on your way to Centerville North with 36. Dropped up there. Sacramento has a little bit. Needs some more. But let's take a look at our profitable lines. Tools, of course, always very profitable. Fuel for uh, Provo is doing very nicely. Fuel for San Antonio is doing pretty nicely. And then the rest are kind of meh. Uh, but the fuel or the food for Grand Prairie is doing quite well. And that's a truck line. And then we of course have our ships and stuff which aren't doing great. Uh, how much is our ship line losing? It's losing quite a bit. Then we have these huge spikes of profits and then crap and then it's almost breaking even right for the most part oh yeah yeah it'll be fine guys it'll be fine and everything will start making money i'm excited i hope you're excited too so anyway, um, thank you very much for watching, guys. We are out of time. Uh, if you did enjoy it, why not leave a like and subscribe? And uh, I'll see you next time.